in the relationship that we have had, we still have, it's just different. He taught me how to love and be loved. And I knew, we were driving down Santa Monica Boulevard once and we saw these two old guys walking together and he said, that's gonna be us one day. And a little voice said to me, that's not gonna happen. And I knew that uh, something was gonna happen. I didn't know what. And I had the feeling that whatever we had, something was gonna happen. We were not gonna grow old together. So what happened? Well, he got AIDS and died. Woke up one night in, in night sweats and uh, and I covered him in bath sheets and I went downstairs and put my head in a dish towel. And realized that he wasn't gonna make it. I did everything I could to keep him alive, you know. I fed him living foods in the hospital and he was healthier in the hospital than he would have been on their IV stuff. You know, I mean, he looked good, he had color in his face, he rested, he wasn't in pain, he was in good condition for a guy that was dying. <laughs> if that makes any sense, you know, I did everything, I did everything I could to keep him alive. And what happened was, all the things I found out for him, I do today for myself, as if I was sick, which I'm not. I'm HIV negative, and I grow wheatgrass, and I drink the Rejuvalact enzyme water, and I make the blended nourishment to reinforce the immune system and keep it strong with high vitality. I mean, I know this secret. It's a secret that's available, but most people don't really want to know about it. It'll be 21 years on January the 11th. Died upstairs. Not easy. Well, he drops in, I get to see him every now and then. Whenever it happens, I wake up feeling that I just had an opportunity to see him again, if only in the dream. I had a series of three where one dream, we were in the house and I said to him, when are you coming home? And he goes, and the second night, he was there, and I said, aren't you coming home for dinner? And he said, I have to go soon. And the third night, it was a dream where he's walking up a narrow staircase with his hands behind him, and I'm holding on, and we're walking up the staircase, and I start sobbing, and I say, you've got to stop this. And we get up to this platform, and that's when I let go, and he walked off into this orange and white mist and just walked away, you know? It's very sweet, very sweet. <laughs>